Welcome back to another Hunter Call the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, I'm going to take you out and show you a couple of different cool finds that I managed to scout out over the past little while. But before we do that, I just want to take a moment to thank you so, so much for joining me today, especially with Silver Ridge Peaks coming out a couple days ago. Now, unfortunately, because I am on Xbox One, I have to wait till the console release day, which is July 8th. So I guess we have no choice but to be patient. But if you enjoy any part of this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, like, and leave a comment if you'd like to make any recommendations for further content. I'm always open to suggestions. And also join my Discord, the link is below. Now I actually wasn't up here hunting jackrabbits, I was hunting for whitetail. Now whitetail drink from 12 to three and jackrabbits drink from 11 to two. So you have that 12 to two overlap. So if you are out hunting for whitetail, you are gonna come across a lot of, of jackrabbits. Now watch this. I missed. I can't, oh my God, I can't believe I missed. And that's when panic sets in and off he goes running. And I'm not even sure what went wrong there. When I'm taking a shot on something that is very small, for an example, a duck or a rabbit, zeroing is very, very important. You want to mark exactly where your animal is with your waypoint, and you want to distance yourself exactly either 50 or 100 or 150 meters away and make sure you are that exact distance so that you can have your metering perfect. Because even if you're five meters off, you could miss just like I just did. So the, it is extremely important that you have all of your distancing and your zeroing lined up perfectly. So unfortunately, when I got up to find this jackrabbit, my game did crash. I did lose the footage. So I was lucky enough that this was on a friend of mine's map. So he was nice enough to reload it for me. And when I came back up to the lake, there he was waiting. And so here is the lake that I'm at. This is just to give you an idea of where to go if you're going to check this spot out. It's a great spot for blacktail and for whitetail and for bunny rabbits. For bunny bunny rabbits. And here we have a diamond whitetail jackrabbit. He is a 6.5 trophy, 6.52 kilograms. And we got him in the lung from 139.48 meters. And you know, this is not a common diamond. It's a really nice find. I've only found a few of them in my three years of playing Call of the Wild. So here I was on a random multiplayer server up in my favorite spot in Leighton, which is Calburn, and I was lucky enough to spot this beautiful level five blacktail. Now, unfortunately, I did not have my night vision binoculars with me, and this was right after I reset my account last week, and I am at a lower level here. I think I'm at level 27, but I'm, I can't remember exactly, but somewhere in that area. And uh, so he is traveling on the opposite side of the river. So I have to get closer to him, make my way over to him so that I'm able to get him because I don't want to take a traveling shot from 400 meters <laughs> without even a night scope or anything. It's a little too risky. So what I do is I try to keep my eyes on the animal as long as I possibly can. I don't want to lose track. And then if and when I do, lose track of him when he disappears I mark where I last saw him with the waypoint and I make sure that I don't pick up any other tracks so that if I have to I can then track him from that point so yep I still have eyes on him so I'm gonna I am gonna keep marking him intermittently and I'm not too worried about the tracks, so I'm keeping my flashlight off I guess I'm going to turn it on. So if you have your flashlight off, you will not see tracks at all at night. And when you turn your flashlight on, you will only see them when your light is flashing on the tracks. So that is uh, something handy to know. Now I'm trying to figure out where he is. I'm going to go prone for a little bit because I don't want to spook him. I know there's a, a herd right in front drinking. They drink from 5 to 9 or 9.30 a.m. or p.m. And there he is. Isn't he pretty? So I'm going to try and work my way 
Oh, maybe he's gonna give us a shot. Let's have a look. No, he's gonna turn again. I can take a front on shot, but I definitely don't prefer to, especially with the grass blocking there. So I'm gonna actually work my way to the side to try and get more of a broadside shot. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm actually creeping, but I have the video at double speed. So, so it doesn't take forever for us to get over there. But yeah, I am creeping my way over just to get a better angle. And that is something I would recommend if you're not comfortable with the angle the animal is presenting, then change where you are so that you can get a better angle. So this seems like it's, it's fine now. I'm gonna take out my 30 odd six. I'm, I do not have sight spotting yet. And bang. So I'm not sure. Not sure. Yes, we got a vital. He is dead. We have hunting pressure. So whenever you have that nice big circle of blood, that means you got a vital. So, And we have a beautiful diamond black-tail deer. 91.36 kilograms, and he has a trophy of 182.7. If you enjoyed today's video, please press that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'll see you next time. You take care.